Finding Faith Through Self-Care How to Restore Balance in Your Life Do you feel like you have lost your faith? Life can be a roller coaster of emotions and stress, leaving us feeling drained and overwhelmed. It is important to prioritize taking care of ourselves in order to restore balance in our lives. Self-care can be a powerful tool to help us find our faith again and to re-establish a sense of peace and contentment. In this message, we will explore ways to use self-care to restore faith and bring back the balance in our lives. Welcome, kindred soul. I'm honored to be here with you and share spirit-led messages to nourish your soul. As we go through the teachings, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Return any time you want clarification or simply want more nourishment. At the end, I will be providing you with the option of extended teachings if you wish to continue. Let's open the best frequency by speaking words of positivity. I am light, loved, and whole, created and designed for a purpose. I give and receive abundance, and work with all my heart as I open the pathway for others. The importance of self-care for restoring faith. In our busy and demanding lives, it can be easy to lose sight of our faith and feel overwhelmed by the stresses and challenges we face. This is where self-care comes in. Taking care of ourselves is not selfish or indulgent. It is a necessary step in restoring our faith and finding balance in our lives. Self-care allows us to replenish our physical, emotional, and spiritual reserves, giving us the energy and strength to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. When we neglect self-care, we leave ourselves vulnerable to burnout, fatigue, and a lack of fulfillment. By prioritizing self-care, we send a powerful message to ourselves and to the universe that we value our well-being and are committed to nourishing our mind, body, and soul. This act of self-love and self-compassion is a fundamental part of restoring our faith and reconnecting with our higher power. Through self-care practices such as meditation, journaling, exercise, spending time in nature, and engaging in activities that bring us joy, we can create a sacred space within ourselves where our faith can flourish. It is in this space that we can find solace, guidance, and strength, allowing our faith to grow and flourish. Recognizing Signs of Burnout and Overwhelm Life can be incredibly demanding, leaving us feeling overwhelmed and burnt out. It is important to recognize the signs of burnout and overwhelm in order to address them and prevent further damage to our faith and overall well-being. One of the first signs of burnout is feeling constantly exhausted, both physically and mentally. You may find yourself struggling to get out of bed in the morning or lacking the energy to engage in activities that used to bring you joy. This chronic exhaustion can lead to irritability difficulty concentrating, and decreased motivation. Another sign of burnout is a loss of interest or enjoyment in things that used to excite you. Hobbies and activities that once brought fulfillment and pleasure may now feel like a chore or burden. This loss of interest can lead to a sense of apathy and detachment from the world around you. Burnout can also manifest in physical symptoms such as headaches, muscle tension, and changes in appetite or sleep patterns. You may find yourself getting sick more often or experiencing chronic pain and discomfort. Practical Tips for Prioritizing Self-Care Practical Tips for Prioritizing Self-Care 1. Make Self-Care a Non-Negotiable Treat self-care as a priority rather than an afterthought. Schedule time in your calendar dedicated solely to self-care activities. Whether it's taking a long bath, going for a walk in nature, or reading a book, commit to making self-care a regular part of your routine. 2. 
set boundaries, learn to say no and prioritize your own needs. It's okay to decline social invitations or delegate tasks to others if it means preserving your energy and well-being. Setting healthy boundaries allows you to create space for self-care without feeling guilty. 3. Practice mindfulness. Incorporate mindfulness into your daily life by taking moments to check in with yourself. Pause throughout the day to take a few deep breaths and bring your attention to the present moment. This simple act can help reduce stress and increase your overall sense of well-being. 4. Engage in activities that bring you joy. Make time for activities that truly make your heart sing. Whether it's painting, dancing, or playing an instrument, engaging in activities that bring you joy can help to rejuvenate your spirit and restore your faith. 5. Prioritize restful sleep. Make quality sleep a priority. Establish a relaxing bedtime routine, create a sleep-friendly environment, and avoid stimulating activities before bed. Getting enough restful sleep allows your body and mind to recharge, leading to increased energy and a renewed sense of faith. Remember, self-care is not a luxury. It is an essential part of nurturing your well-being and restoring your faith. By implementing these practical tips, you can prioritize self-care and begin to experience a greater sense of balance and contentment in your life. Creating a personalized self-care plan. Creating a personalized self-care plan. Now that you understand the importance of self-care for restoring faith and have recognized the signs of burnout and overwhelm, it's time to create a personalized self-care plan that suits your unique needs and preferences. Remember, self-care is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's about finding activities and practices that resonate with you and bring you joy and rejuvenation. To begin creating your personalized self-care plan, start by reflecting on the activities and practices that have brought you peace, contentment, and a sense of connection in the past. Consider what makes you feel nourished and fulfilled. Is it spending time in nature, practicing yoga, reading a book, or painting? Write down these activities as a starting point for your self-care plan. Next, think about how you can incorporate these activities into your daily or weekly routine. Set aside dedicated time for self-care in your schedule and treat it as a non-negotiable commitment. Whether it's a few minutes each day or a longer block of time each week, make sure you prioritize self-care as an essential part of your day. As you experiment with different self-care practices, pay attention to how they make you feel. Notice which activities truly nourish your mind, body, and soul and which ones may not resonate as much. It's okay to try different things and make adjustments along the way. Your self-care plan should evolve as you discover new practices that bring you joy and support your faith journey. The connection between self-care and faith. Self-care and faith are deeply interconnected, as they both serve to nourish and restore our sense of well-being. When we prioritize self-care, we are essentially saying to ourselves and to the universe that we value our own well-being and are committed to nurturing our mind, body, and soul. This act of self-love and self-compassion is fundamental to restoring our faith and reconnecting with our higher power. Through self-care practices such as meditation, journaling, spending time in nature, and engaging in activities that bring us joy, we create a sacred space within ourselves where our faith can flourish. It is in this space that we can find solace, guidance, and strength. Self-care allows us to quiet the noise of the outside world and tap into our inner wisdom. It helps us to cultivate a sense of presence and mindfulness, which are essential for deepening our faith. When we take the time to nurture ourselves and honor our own needs, 
we are better able to align with our spiritual beliefs and connect with a higher power. How Gratitude Practices Can Boost Your Faith Practicing gratitude is a powerful way to boost your faith and restore balance in your life. When we focus on the things we are grateful for, we shift our perspective and invite positivity and abundance into our lives. Gratitude helps us to recognize the blessings and miracles that surround us, even in the midst of challenges and difficult times. One way to incorporate gratitude into your self-care routine is by keeping a gratitude journal. Take a few minutes each day to write down three things you are grateful for. They can be big or small, simple or profound. The act of writing them down allows you to fully acknowledge and appreciate them, and it serves as a reminder of the abundance that exists in your life. Another powerful gratitude practice is expressing gratitude through prayer or meditation. Take a few moments each day to offer thanks for the blessings in your life. Whether you address your gratitude to a higher power, the universe, or simply to yourself, the act of expressing gratitude can shift your energy and open your heart to receive even more blessings. You can also practice gratitude by sharing your appreciation with others. Take the time to write a heartfelt thank you note or tell someone how much you appreciate them. Not only does this boost your own sense of gratitude, but it also spreads joy and positivity to those around you. Finding Community and Support for Your Self-Care Journey As we embark on our self-care journey to restore faith and bring balance back into our lives, it is important to remember that we are not alone. Finding community and support can be incredibly helpful in sustaining our self-care practices and keeping us accountable. One way to find community and support is to join a self-care or faith-based group. These groups provide a safe and supportive space where like-minded individuals gather to share their experiences, challenges, and triumphs. It is in these communities that we can find inspiration, encouragement, and guidance. Whether it's an in-person meetup group or an online community, connecting with others who are on a similar journey can be incredibly empowering. Additionally, seeking out a mentor or coach can provide invaluable support on our self-care journey. A mentor can offer guidance, wisdom, and personalized strategies for incorporating self-care into our daily lives. They can help us navigate challenges, provide accountability, and cheer us on as we make progress towards restoring our faith. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of loved ones and friends in supporting our self-care journey. Sharing our goals and intentions with those closest to us can provide a sense of accountability and create a support network. Engage in open and honest conversations about your self-care journey, and don't hesitate to ask for help when you need it. Letting go of perfectionism and embracing progress in your faith walk. In our journey to restore faith and find balance in our lives, it is crucial to let go of perfectionism and embrace progress. Too often, we hold ourselves to impossibly high standards and feel discouraged when we don't meet them. We may berate ourselves for not being good enough or feel overwhelmed by the pressure to always have it all together. However, this mindset only hinders our growth and prevents us from truly experiencing the restoration of faith that we desire. Instead of striving for perfection, we must shift our focus to progress. Embrace the idea that it's okay to take small steps forward and that every little bit counts. Each day is an opportunity for growth, and even the smallest victories are worth celebrating. Give yourself permission to make mistakes and learn from them. Remember that it's through these challenges and setbacks that we learn and grow the most. As you navigate your faith walk and prioritize self-care, remind yourself that it's not about being flawless. It's about being present showing up for yourself, 
and doing the best you can with the resources you have. Celebrate the progress you've made and acknowledge how far you've come. Be gentle and compassionate with yourself, recognizing that you are a work in progress. Embracing progress in your faith walk means being open to change and adaptation. It means allowing yourself to evolve and grow as you discover new self-care practices and deepen your connection to your faith. Trust that each step you take, no matter how small, is moving you closer to the restoration and balance you seek. So, let go of the need for perfection and embrace the journey of progress. Have faith in yourself and the process. As you do, you'll find that restoration of faith and balance are not only possible but within reach. Thank you for listening to this teaching. If you would like to go further with this teaching, or any others, please visit firstlightteaching.com. I also want to thank any of you who may have donated. Your blessings have provided me the opportunity to bring this to you and share my light with the world.